Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be focused on shoulders. Guys, this is our second time getting after it together. And I want you to understand this. The shoulders have to be challenged in many different ways if you want to see growth, all right? So for this particular exercise, we're going to do cable military press. I love it for the simple fact it creates an unstable environment. That unstable environment allows you to recruit more muscle fibers. All right, so we're gonna start off strong. Gonna grab that cable, you're gonna pull it in tight. Once again, get your back flat against that seat. Keep your abs engaged, belly button close to the spine, and then we're just gonna engage and get that stirrup in that upright position. From here, we exhale, breathe it out, and that's the starting point. Inhale, bring it down, create that 90 degree angle, and then lock it out. That's one. Inhale down, exhale, breathe it out. Two. Remember, we're going to go for 12 reps. Three, four, five, six. We're at the checkpoint. Are your abs engaged? Are your arms straight? Are you coming down to 90 degrees? Are you doing moderate to every weight? Inhale, come down. Exhale. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Make it count, guys. Squeeze. And come down nice and slow. Woo! I felt it all in my shoulders, and I'm sure you did too. Remember, we're gonna take a minute of recovery, all right? We're gonna attack the next round, adding five to 10 pounds. Maybe you're adding 15 if you really felt good. Maybe you pushed your reps to 15 on this one. Whatever you do, challenge yourself on each one of these sets. Looking forward to seeing you on the next exercise. One exercise down, six to go. Let's get it. Moving right along to exercise number two, we got dumbbell shrugs, all right? Here's what you need to do. I need you to sit up tall, all right? Nice and proud. And I need you to bring your shoulders all the way up, grab yourself some moderate to heavy weight. Squeeze at the top, control that weight coming down. That's one. Up, squeeze, down under control. Two, up, squeeze, down under control. Three, up, four. Up, five, up, six, checkpoint. You see my head? I don't switch it down, I keep it neutral. Seven, up, eight, up, nine, only thing moving is my shoulders. Ten, two more. Eleven, last one. Hold it, get that good contraction there at the top, and slowly coming down. I need you to give me two more sets of this, and I need you to give me one minute rest in between. Challenge yourself, increase that weight five to 10 pounds. Looking forward to seeing you on the next exercise. Remember the importance of shrugs is the fact that you hold that contraction, make that contraction at the top, and then I'm gonna see you slowly coming down on each one. All right, see you on the next exercise. Let's get it. All right guys, moving on to exercise number three. I call this one the empty the can, all right, deltoid exercise. This is a posterior delt killer, guys. All you're gonna do is treat your dumbbells like a can. You're just gonna empty it out. Now from here, you're exposing that posterior delt. You're gonna raise your arms up, breathe it out, and bring it back down. It's one. We're aiming for 12 repetitions. Two, moderate to heavy weight. Three. Four. Five. Six, checkpoint. Are your arms rotated over? Are you breathing through each one of the contraction? Are you slowly coming down? Two more left. One more, hold it. Come down with the control and relax it. Guys, what am I looking for? One minute recovery in between. 
doing each one of these exercises. You have two more sets after this. I right, remember to breathe through each one of these contractions. Keep your arms elongated and don't forget to empty that can, all right? That's the game changer. That's how you get those posterior belts pop, all right? So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next exercise. Let's go ahead and get it. Turn it up. See you soon. All right, guys, coming on to exercise number four, the Smith Machine Shoulder Press. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with moderate to heavy weight. We're gonna lock that weight out, straighten out the arms. The hand goes behind the head slightly. And we exhale, breathe it out. It's one. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lock it out. Remember to breathe through each one of these contractions. That means exhale as you lock out. And inhale as you come down. Four. Five. Six. Now we're at that checkpoint. So I'm going to check on my core. Is it tight? Is my arm straight? Am I breathing? Are my elbows getting to 90 degrees? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. Whew. That was a solid set right there, guys. If you felt good, you want to take it to 15 reps, please do. I want you to challenge yourself on each one of these exercises. Remember, five to 10 pounds when you get to the next set, all right? One minute recovery each, between each and every one of these sets. And guys, remember that eccentric contraction is a very important contraction during this one because you want to get through that whole range of motion. So when your arms are nice and tall and you've locked it out, I want you to come down nice and slow and under control. And then be explosive coming up, working that concentric. Know the difference between the two contractions. Eccentric, essential, all right? It's a very meaningful contraction. It elongates the muscle. Concentric is a shortener, so you want to be explosive getting out there. All right, guys, let's get it. See you on the next exercise. Moving right along to exercise five, we got cable upright rows. All right, so we're going to start off with the arms crossed. All right, grabbing the opposite cable stirrups. We're going to take our elbows, bring it up nice and high, create that V. Retract the shoulders at the end of this motion. You're going to work your posterior delts and then bring it back down. That's one. Exhale, breathe it out. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Breathe it out. Six. All right. Hold that elbow up nice and tall. All right. This is the checkpoint. Are you having proud, smiling elbows? If you got that going, you're doing the right thing. Bring your arms down nice and slow. Make sure you get that eccentric contraction as we said before. Up high. Set. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. Up. Ten. Two more. Up. Eleven. Last one. Give me that good hold at the top. Show me you got it. Good muscular improvement of the deltoid. And slowly coming down. <coughs> I only need 12 there, guys, but if you can give me 15, do it. Add five to 10 pounds on your next set. And we're gonna bang out these next two sets to completion, all right? Remember, key points, elbows up nice and high, proud shoulders, smiling shoulders, slow eccentric contraction, powerful, quick concentric contraction. All right, guys, see you on the next exercise. Let's get it. Woo! Moving on to exercise number six, guys. Dumbbell iso raise. You're gonna start off arms in that nice tail position, all right? Moderate to heavy weight on that dumbbell. You're just gonna straighten out, you're never dropping the arms from here. Straighten it out, get back in, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, checkpoint. Are your elbows in? Are you straightening your arm? Are you pulling back in? Seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and last one. Hold it, stay strong, 
and bring it back up there. All right, guys, we are looking for 12 reps to 15. Again, it's moderate to heavy. It does not have to be really heavy, though, guys. This exercise right here works whether or not, okay? I want you to go ahead and give yourself one minute rest. All right, challenge yourself each and every one of these sets. All right, five to 10 pound increment. I guarantee you, you're gonna feel that burn. If you lock that arm out, you pull those arms in in a nice, moderate pace. Let's get it, see you on the next exercise. This is gonna be exercise number seven. We're almost done, y'all. Let's get it. Woo-wee! Finally done, guys. We are finally on our last exercise. Exercise number seven, plank, cable, raise. One of my favorites right here, guys, because I get to work the core a little bit while working my shoulders. I look at it as a distractor, because my shoulders are always exhausted. So now that I'm working the abs too, it makes me channel my brain towards the abs and less concentrated on the shoulders. So we're gonna get into a plank position, locking out that arm. Go ahead and bring your right hand back first. We'll start with the right hand. We're still gonna work with moderate, moderate weight, and we're just gonna straighten our arms here. Lock that arm out. And that's a raise, so we bring it back down neutral. Out two, three, four, five, six. Checkpoint, are your arms straight? Are you coming all the way down? Are you feeling it in the deltoid? Did you straighten it out? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's one, twelve. Switch it out. Now with the left hand, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one, twelve. Whoo, that's a tough one. Well, there you have it, guys. That's all our exercises for today. Knock out two more sets of that. Remember, for 12 reps, if you felt like you could do more, stretch it to 15. Remember, control your weight by breathing, guys. You bring it out, hold that concentric contraction, and then slowly bring it back down. You want to see those muscles build. The only way they build is by allowing your muscles to acknowledge the recruitment. So you can't rush through it. You gotta pace, pace yourself, and go to a tempo, a nice cadence. Out for one, down two, three. Remember those key points as you get to your next set. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Another workout from your boy, Tony Thomas Sports. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Peace.